Hey there, electricity enthusiasts. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Electricity Frenzy. I'm your host and today we're diving deep into a common issue, why does your washing machine keep tripping the circuit breaker? We've all experienced it, you're all set to do some laundry, you press that trusty start button, and suddenly, click, the circuit breaker trips and leaves you in the dark. But don't worry, because we're here to unravel the mystery and help you troubleshoot this problem. Let's start with the basics. Your washing machine, like any appliance, needs a specific amount of electrical power to run smoothly. This power flows through your home's electrical system and is protected by circuit breakers in your breaker panel. When your washing machine trips the circuit breaker, it usually means there's an imbalance between the power it needs and the power it's receiving. This can happen for various reasons. One common culprit is overloading. Just as you wouldn't overload your washing machine with too many clothes, you shouldn't overload your electrical circuits. If your washing machine shares a circuit with power-hungry devices like microwaves or heaters, an overload can trigger the breaker. Another culprit is faulty components within the washing machine. A damaged motor or heating element can cause sudden spikes in electrical demand, leading to circuit breaker trips. Wiring issues can also be to blame. Loose connections, damaged wires, or worn-out outlets can disrupt electricity flow and result in trip breakers. But there's more to the story. In addition to these common causes, let's not forget about bad breakers. These components can wear out over time, causing them to trip more often. Testing them with a multimeter can help you identify if they're causing the issue. And then there's the tricky case of low voltage. If your washing machine doesn't receive sufficient voltage, its motor might draw excessive current to compensate, overloading the circuit and triggering the breaker. To tackle this, you can measure the voltage at the outlet during operation. Now, here's where things get interesting. If you consistently observe low voltage, a voltage regulator might be your savior. It's a device that stabilizes voltage levels, ensuring your washing machine gets the power it needs without overloading the circuit. You can find a high-rated voltage regulator in the description below, which I've linked from Amazon. How can you exactly pinpoint the cause of your washing machine tripping the circuit breaker? If this issue has you scratching your head, worry not. We're breaking it down into easy steps to help you uncover the culprit with precision. So, grab your magnifying glass, we're about to solve this puzzle. Before we start, make sure you have a notepad handy. We're going to collect evidence and clues along the way. Now, let's revisit the usual suspects, overloading, faulty components, wiring problems, bad breakers, and the sneaky low voltage. Step 1. Observation. Pay close attention to when the circuit breaker trips. Does it happen immediately after starting the washing machine, during a specific cycle, or when another high power device kicks in? This initial observation could be a valuable lead. Step 2. Isolation. Unplug all other devices from the same circuit as your washing machine. If the breaker still trips when the washing machine is the only thing connected, it might point to a problem within the machine itself. Step 3. Visual inspection. Take a close look at your washing machine for any visible issues, frayed cords, burned marks, or loose connections. These could be indicators of trouble. Step 4. Outlet test. Measure the voltage at the outlet using a multimeter. If it's consistently low, it might be the low voltage problem. But if the voltage is within range, move on to the next step. Step 5. Breaker test. Use your multimeter to test the circuit breaker. If it trips immediately after starting the washing machine, it's likely an internal issue with the machine. But if not, try this, unplug the washing machine and all other loads on the same circuit. Reset the breaker. If it still trips, you could be dealing with a bad breaker or faulty wiring. Step 6. Load test. If the breaker doesn't trip during the previous step, it's time for a load test. Reconnect the washing machine and other loads one by one. If the breaker trips when a specific load is connected, that's your culprit. By methodically following these steps, you'll gather clues, narrow down possibilities, and unveil the true cause behind your washing machine's breaker tripping mystery. And that's a wrap, Detective Squad. Don't forget to check the video description, where you'll find valuable resources, including that high-rated voltage regulator on Amazon. If this investigation helped you crack the case, hit the like button and subscribe to Electricity Frenzy for more electrifying adventures. Until our next pursuit of knowledge, keep your circuits clear and your investigative spirit charged. Stay wired.